Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are still working on Macbeth and today we get to hear from King Duncan in Act 1, Scene 4, which is super fun. So things that have happened, Macbeth and Banquo are great soldiers. Macbeth's just slightly more so than Banquo. They ran into three witches who predicted that Macbeth would become king and that Banquo's children would become kings even though Banquo himself would not be a king. Um, Macbeth found out that he is now the Thane of Cawdor, which leads him to believe that the witches were correct in their predictions, so now he's sort of hoping that he can become king without having to kill anybody in order to get there, because his brain is saying, well, just kill the people that are standing in the way, and, and you can become king. So Ross and Angus have came to get Macbeth and Banquo and bring them to King Duncan. So Act 1, Scene 4, we start out with Duncan, and he's there with, with Malcolm, who I believe is his son, and they're they're chatting, and Duncan is like, well, is the original Thane of Cod or um, McDonaldwald, is he dead already? And Malcolm's like, well, I didn't actually see it, but I talked to some people who saw it, and the best thing that he ever did was die. And, and Duncan replies, there's no art to find the mind's construction in the face. He was a gentleman on whom I built an absolute trust. O oh, worthiest cousin, the sin of my ingratitude even now was heavy on me. Thou art so far before that swiftest wing of recompense is slow to overtake thee. Would thou hadst less deserved that the proportion, proportion both of thanks and payment might have been mine. Only I have left to say, more is thy due than more than all can pay. So what he's saying, he first pays a little bit of tribute to McDonaldwald and says, you know, I trusted him and he betrayed me and if only I would have been able to tell that that was a thing that was going to happen. But then Macbeth and Banquo and Ross and Angus come in and he greets Macbeth by saying, I owe you so much that I wish I didn't owe you that much. Like, there's no way that I can properly pay you back for it. And Macbeth responds by saying, no, 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 like, making you happy is thanks enough, that sort of a thing. Um, and then Duncan turns to Banquo and is like, I also owe you quite a lot, you know, well done in all of your fighting. And Banquo's like, it was entirely my pleasure. And Duncan says, great. So from here on out, um, when I die, my estate is going to go to Malcolm. So isn't that great and groovy? And everybody's like, yep, that's great and groovy. And they're like, let's go back to Inverness so that we can all celebrate the fact that we won all of these little skirmishes and all of that sort of thing. And Macbeth says, I'm going to write a letter to my wife um, to let her know that we're coming and to fill her in on this happy news. And then he gets to have a little aside where he's like, crap, now Malcolm is in my way and I'm either going to have to get around him or step over him to get this thing that I, that I supposedly want but that I don't have to that I don't want to want and that I don't want to have to do anything in order to get but I really sort of want it. So now he's thinking that he's going to have to kill Malcolm and Duncan in order to become king, and he's a little bit bummed out about that. So he goes to write a letter to his wife, and everybody else decides that they're going to go off to Inverness, and Macbeth will come along with them when he's done writing his letter. And that's the end of Act 1, Scene 4. And tomorrow, we get to hear from Lady Mac, which is super exciting. Um... Not that we haven't heard from traditionally female characters yet already, because we have heard from the witches, but Lady Mac has quite the reputation amongst Shakespearean scholars, and tomorrow we get to meet her and find out what she's all about. So that'll be fun. I'll see you then for that. Mwah.